right, so in our last video here, we just set up this Express app like this. It was about as basic as you can get. And in this one, we're gonna connect it to a React app. But the first thing we gotta do is actually uh, go ahead and create that React app. So let's open up a new window here. And now we wanna say uh, MPX create a React app like this, and we'll just call it web. So we'll let that run. All right, and once that's installed, we want to CD into our web folder here. And we're going to run uh, yarn add, and we're going to add Axios as a package. And that'll be for our uh, fetch request that we're doing. Uh, you can just use fetch if you like, but I'm going to use Axios because I like Axios. All right, so once that is done, we're in our web folder, and we can just say yarn start. All right, so you can see this is up and running, but of course it's not connected at all to our back end over here. So let's go ahead and connect these two bad boys. All right, so we can get rid of this for now, give ourselves a little bit more room, and we're gonna open up this file, and go into our web folder here, into our uh, source and app.js, and we're gonna do everything in here so we can close this out again. Now let's come and just clear out some of this stuff here. So we're not gonna need anything in here with this header. We don't need this logo here, um, but we do need to import, uh, what, React uh, from uh, React like this. Gotta make sure we have that for some of the stuff we're gonna do. And we don't need this, all right. And then we're gonna come in here and to start, let's add some state. All right, so what we're gonna do here is show you how you can post to the back end. So we're gonna use a uh, form to do that. So we're gonna need some state. We're gonna say const and we'll say name and set name like this. And that'll be equal to use state like that. And we gotta bring that in. And then from there, we're just gonna leave it empty for now, empty string. Um, and then we're gonna come down here, give ourselves a little room, and we're gonna create a new function here. So we'll so, say async like that function, and it'll be called post name. We're just gonna post our name to the back end is what we're gonna be doing, and pass in e there, and we will say uh, e, e dot prevent default like that. So uh, it doesn't refresh our form on submit. And then below this here, we're gonna do a try uh, catch here. And inside of this try here, we're gonna say wait, and we'll say axios dot post. So we're gonna post here, and we'll be posting to uh, HTTP uh, colon slash slash, and we'll say localhost. 4000, which is our back end. And then we're gonna set a route here, which we haven't done yet, but it'll say post underscore name, like this. And then after that, we wanna do a comma. And in here, this is where we're gonna pass along uh, the value that we actually wanna post. So for us, that's gonna be name. Okay, so that's the state we set, and that's what we're gonna pass along. Now, we do need to bring in Axios here. So let's come up to the top and we'll say import Axios from uh, Axios like that and then come back down here and then let's just finish this off with the catch here. So we'll say uh, in here we'll just say console.log and we'll just say error. All right. So that is our entire route now. So let's come down here and inside of this app here, let's actually do up our little form here. So we'll say form and we will say on submit here like this. And that's gonna be equal to uh, post name, which is the name of our function we just created. Then inside of this form, we're gonna have an input and it's gonna be of type text. We're gonna have a value here, which is gonna be equal to name. And then we're gonna have an on change, and that's gonna be equal to, uh, we're gonna pass in the event here, and we'll just say uh, set name, and we'll pass in the uh, e dot target dot value, like that. And that is it for that. And then finally below that, we'll just have a button, 
like this and the button will be of uh, type equals submit and the button will just say send name. So we're just gonna type in our name and send it along to the back end to show you how this all works. So go ahead and save that and come back over to our index.js over here where we have our express running and we're gonna need to add a new route here. So in the first video there, we showed you how to do an app.get here. Uh, this is gonna be an app.post. So let's say app.post like this and we will just call that uh, post uh, name, I think we called it. Let's check that out. Uh, post name, correct. And then after that, we're just gonna do uh, an async function here. And again, a rec and a res and arrow function. And this time we're gonna destructure here. So we're gonna destructure name off of this uh, object here. Uh, rec dot body, just like that. And then below, we're just gonna console.log that out to show you that we're passing along that name. So normally, you want to post something to a database or something. We don't have a database set up or anything. So we're just gonna console log it out and see if it shows up in our console. All right, so let's try this out. So if we refresh this, I'll enhance this a little, get it a little bigger. And in here, I'm just gonna say uh, Darwin like this and send this along and doesn't look like anything happened and check that out and that didn't work because we forgot to put a backslash uh, slash here. So go ahead and save that and let's try this again and we'll say Darwin and send and this time if you check out the bottom here it looks like it came through. So we are posting from our front end to our back end with this post name route. Now, what about another uh, get route on our front end? So let's add another route here, another get route. So come down here, we can actually get rid of this here and come down and we will say app.get like this and we'll just go, uh, we'll say slash home like that. And again, cores, cores, although I don't even know if we needed it for this. We didn't add it up here and it was fine. So that is uh, interesting. And then again, async uh, like this, rec res like that, and arrow function. And then inside of this here, we're just gonna send uh, with res.send and we'll just pass along a string saying this is the data for the home page, like that. So if we go ahead and save that, now we have this home route that we wanna to add to our app.js. And the way we're gonna do that is with uh, the use effect here. So let's first come up to the top here and we'll say const and we'll add some more state. So we'll just say home and uh, set home like that. And that'll be equal to use state. And we'll just do an empty string for that also. And then below that, we're gonna do a uh, use effect here. So bring that in and we'll go like this. And in our use effect, we'll go axios.get and we'll add that string. And it's slash home. And then we'll just do, uh, instead of a try catch, let's do switch it up and do a dot then. And we'll pass in a function like that. And we'll just say uh, response. We're just switching up our syntax left and right over here. Um, and then in here, we're just gonna set the home, which is our state for home. And we'll just call it, say uh, response dot data like that. So if we save that, and then come down and let's add this to our uh, screen here. So we'll just say home down here and save that. And then the last thing we forgot to do here is add uh, an empty array. So it'll just do it on the first load. It'll call our use effect like that. So we're making a call, a get request to our slash home. And all we're gonna do is set the home to the data that we passed in from the uh, server. So let's go back here and now if we go localhost 3000 and we'll go slash home like this. 
and nothing happens because we did something wrong. And I don't even know how I uh, didn't notice this, but this is red dot send, not res dot whatever it was. And now, hopefully this is working. So we'll refresh this. And you can see the data coming from our server is now uh, connected to our React app. So that is how you connect a uh, React and Express uh, server. And hopefully it was useful. Thanks for watching.